be yeah. did that did he bring that he stuff did. up he did he brought it up what do you say i mean he's whatever reason he's an upset guy about me i don't know what it is <laughs> but it, it's fine like i can't control that he kept bringing the tribute up when i was the one that shut the tribute down so i mean i'm far past that I'm on the lakers trying to figure out how to help this team win and for the things that happened today happen and me to get ejected is, is uncalled for Isaiah, did you guys have any previous history before this whole video thing? I mean, my team beat his team in the playoffs last year. Maybe that is what's wrong. I, I don't know. There's nothing. It should have. Nothing should have made that escalate like he did. But he already had his agenda written down. Right when I checked in the game, it was obvious. Picking me up full court, trying to be physical. It was. It was obvious. Were you when you first heard those quotes that he had about about you not saying that you didn't deserve a video tribute? Did they, like, were you surprised by that? What was your? I mean, I was surprised. I think a lot of people were, but it. I think the world made it bigger than what it was. Okay. Like, everybody who's been on the team for a while has gotten a video tribute. Mm -hmm. I mean, Pat, Patrick Beverly got one in Houston. Um, Chris Paul got one in in in. in with the Clippers, it's like they didn't win no championship, but it's just it's it's just the respect thing. Like he said what he said, I laughed it off, and it it was what it was. I'm the one that stopped the video tribute from happening because I wanted Paul Pierce to have his full night, and I didn't want to take anything from him. And I know he played on Paul Pierce's team, and he's gonna always have Paul Pierce's back, which which is fine because I I didn't lose sleep over it, but it it was obvious continue to be brought up with what happened tonight for whatever reason. So there's no, like, nothing you can think of that's like a personal backstory between I don't know you him. Okay. <laughs> Personally, I don't know him. I've never talked to him. I mean, we've just battled and competed throughout the years, and every time we battle, it's been a little bit more and more. So, I mean, maybe the tribute was him acting like he did tonight. Dave, are you fucking kidding me? Are you kidding me? No, both of them. Both of them. Peace! Uh, yeah, he's out. You out, son! confidence but uh, most importantly we want to make sure that we um, you know end on a good note going to all-star break so um, that's all the world just want to come out aggressive and put a lot of energy in um, you know these guys are going to do the same. Is it good to see the team this hot going into the all-star break especially after you know the struggles that just been For sure for sure um, and now the big thing is coming back you know we got to make sure we keep it going so um, you know, we just want to make sure that you know, we come out with a lot of energy um, after this after this break, and um, we try to keep this one streak. You guys scored 139 points, so uh, obviously you, you alluded to this that a lot of guys played well. I mean, what did you think about just just having so many different guys contribute, you know, you know offensively? No, we just played together, moved the basketball. I'm um, not sure how many assists we had, but no, we were playing fast. You know, they like to play fast, so teams who play fast, you gotta play even faster, and um, that's what coach was preaching to us, and um, we just tried to get a lot of easy baskets, and um, like I said, guys was making shots, we were defending, 
um, and then also playing the transition. So, um, you know, when Rondo went out, it kind of um, kind of threw us off for a little bit, you know, because he usually wants to get us going, you know, in transition. So uh, Drew each one in had to take over that, and, and Dre too, and we just wanted to make sure that we uh, got, uh, got back to what got us the lead, and that's um, a lot of easy baskets in transition. You think in a few days with Meritage coming in, Cousins going out, I mean, a lot of this team changed and adjusted. Did it take a little while to get used to that, you think? Or are you kind of feeling that now? That you're uh, yeah, we just trying to figure out how we, um, how now, what uh, style we want to play now. Um, I think we kind of figured it out, but um, you know, like I said, I mean, that, that loss was tough, uh, you know, um, with Cuz, but, you know, guys are, are stepping up and, and trying to feel, you know, that offense that you know they were lacking um because he went out so um and then bringing nico in is was a huge part you know he's shooting the ball well he, he can post up he can drive you know, he can do a lot of things on the offensive end and he's doing a great job defensively too so um you know i feel like we just got um you know got everybody playing with a lot of confidence right now what does it mean to see a guy like mecca in here doing what he's doing oh, yeah. starting and i mean he doesn't have to be playing he's yeah. obviously made yeah. money yeah. right um you know, he, he's playing well for us you know blocking shots rebounding um, you know, getting offensive rebounds for us, you know, setting screens to get guys open. Um, you know, he he he's doing all the little things for us to to help us win. And um, you know, you need guys like that, and he's uh, he's embracing his role. You know, he told me tonight if you know I get tired, you know, he can you know guard whoever I was guarding and you know give me a break. So uh, he understands the game, and uh, you know I'm glad that he's here to help us. You talked about the adjustment for the team with DeMarcus going out. What about for you individually? How, how long is it kind of taking you to figure out what the team needs from you on a night-to-night basis? Oh, I just need me to take over. Uh, mm-hmm. Just beat me. Um, and I was trying to kind of do what DeMarcus did, you know, get a lot of guys involved. And, um, you know, I was playing a lot of – I was playing indecisive a lot. Um, I was thinking too much. Um, actually, <coughs> Cuz called me. <coughs> said, what you doing? Yeah, man, you need to go out there and just be you. And so ever since then, you know, he told me, the coaching staff told me, the team told me. Um, and I've just been going out there just, just playing aggressive. I know you guys didn't see a ton of the, the lineup that started tonight because Rondo wasn't in the game the second half. But you feel like with, with partly with Mac and just with – it seems like you guys have gotten off to better starts in the first quarter and the third quarter. I mean, is there what, – what, what is it about the lineup maybe that you guys have – Done, done really well lately. Uh, I don't know. I mean, um, we're just playing fast. That's it. I mean, there's nothing that we haven't been doing all year. Um, you know, we just want to get up and, and, and run. You know, um, the games before we were kind of playing slow. Um, now we're playing fast, and um, it's it gets tiring when you keep, you know, pushing the ball down a uh, team's throw, and they you know, they get tired. So um, for us, we want to be in great shape and uh, make sure that we have been, you know, we're standing for four quarters.